what's up youtube it's your girl tana too cute listen y'all we need to talk about the shy episode seven long live y'all the pastor is no longer with us so let's talk about it i feel good wait a minute who are I you Okay, so the episode started out with Papa realizing and finding out that his dad is no longer with us. And Papa is not taking that well at all. I mean, he was full of tears, hurt, and pain. Um, it jumps over to Bakari rushes to address Nook because he knew exactly who was responsible for offing the pastor. And Bakari said, look, I've pow pow someone before and I'll do it again. Why did you have to do that to the pastor? He was like a father to this, this boy. He took him in and Nook basically was saying, look, we had to do what we had to do. The pastor was talking too much and he's not family. This is your family, which is not an excuse, but Nook was just telling Bakari how it is. And then of course his, his pawn, Nook's pawn, you know, put the pow pow to Bakari's uh, head and said, look, if you offer me, you, he's going to offer you. And um, basically Bakari, you know, eventually put down his pow pow. So, I mean, that was a scene to see. Um, then it jumps over to Papa, Kevin and Jake, you know, consoling Papa you know, making sure that he's good, making sure he didn't need anything. But at this point, y'all, Papa only wanted to be left alone. Uh, Bakari soon after came in and P Papa just was like, why are you here? Of course, Papa is grieving, so he's acting out, um, taking it out on anybody that did not necessarily mean well. So Papa was like, Bakari, why are you here? He wasn't your father. He was my father. Um, and look, Bakari was hurt. At the end of the day, Bakari was hurt because this guy was like a father to him. And he cried so hard. I mean, throughout the scene, Bakari was in tears. So Bakari just basically told Papa, hey, I mean, he was, he was like a father to me, but of course he understood, you know, Papa's thing and, and left it at that. Then the episode moves on over to Emmett and Keisha. Uh, Keisha is out of there. She's like, look, you got us into something that we may not even make it out of. So she was going to leave. But of course, Emmett begged her not to leave. He's going to fix everything. He's going to get them out of this this whole mess and uh so she eventually agreed to stay in the guest room until this is fixed but guess what she also texts nook on the side so we'll hear about that in just a minute then it moves on over to jake and victor you know jake this season's kind of been a little mild but he's starting to appear a little bit more having a little more vocals um coming in these episodes now so jake wants the respect from victor to share more with him so victor took that chance and shared some real details with jake about what's going on so victor eventually shared that the fbi is investigating him uh because he did help do to do away with a body so <laughs> victor asked jake you know now that you know this you know what do you think i should should do should I turn myself in or should I, you know, let it go and not snitch? Um, and of course, Jake was like, hey, if you're in jail, there's nothing that you can do for us. So we need you out here in the com in the community. So, um, of course, Victor was on board with that. Then it moves back to, of course, y'all know that I, we said that Keisha text Nook because she want to take matters into her own hand to fix whatever this mess is Emmett has gotten them into so she was like look i need you to have my back nook and if you got my back you have Emmett's back and you have a 
doodle's ears. So you need to make sure that my family is safe. So that was the basis of that quick conversation between those two. Then it moves on back to Papa and Kenya. So remember y'all, Papa is grieving. So of course, that I think Kenya was the last person he really needed to see because that was the last conversation that he and his dad had was about her. His dad was like, look, you're not ready for that responsibility. And Papa basically told her that I want to be left alone. You was the last conversation I had with my dad. He was telling me that you're not, I'm not, you, I'm just not ready for you. Okay. Now we're with Duda and the boys. They are playing chess. Now doing this game of chess, Duda sends many subliminal messages um, in his conversation with the guys. Subliminal such as you have to sacrifice the ones you love to win the game of chess. These subliminals are towards Nook. And Nook, I believe, knows this. Because remember, Nook has a soft spot for Keisha because Nook is primarily the reason why Keisha was kidnapped in the previous season of previous seasons of the shy so he is you know harboring that it you know so duda wants to make it appear that he know well not make it appear he knows you know that nook has a soft spot but is he willing to sacrifice the ones he loves to win the game of duda <laughs> we'll see um then, of course, we get back to Bakari and Nay. So, Bakari shows up at Nay's house with the Pow Pals. And she's like, you can't stay here. Because all she saw was a bag. So, she thinking that he's coming to ask to stay there. And he's like, well, this is not an overnight bag. Um, and she's like, well, what is it? He need, He told her he just needs to stash this bag here for a couple of days. She wants to know what's in the bag. He didn't want to share that. Of course, and she was like, why would you bring something to me if you know that it is illegal or could get me in trouble? And he pleaded his case that he has nowhere else to go or nowhere else to take it. And if he thought that it would get her in any trouble, he would not be there. Now, really, Bakari, now you really thought that, okay. But she eventually gave in and told him to put the pow pals in the closet. So now we're down to the funeral. Keisha and Emmett are having words. Of course, Emmett is addressing her about, you know, going to Nook to fix the situation that Emmett has gotten himself into with Duda. He didn't like that at all. Duda shows up to the funeral, y'all. S. He, as he, we knew he probably would to, you know, make it appear that he had nothing to do with the pastor's death. Hmm. So Duda basically, you know, addressed Lady uh, Jackson, the pastor's wife, and she immediately told him to get out. He was like, well, I don't know what you heard, but I didn't, I did not pow pow the pastor. Well, she said, maybe you didn't, but some, one of your pawns did. He didn't have anything to say, you know, behind that. He just politely turned around, him and Nook, and they proceeded out, you know, the funeral. But guess what? Nook take a look over, and who do who does he see? Keisha. Papa gets up, you know, during this time to say his speech, and Papa broke down, y'all. He broke down. He could not get three words out before he broke down. Now, I'll tell you one thing about this 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 episode. They are really acting. They acting real good. But basically, y'all, his speech was a reflection of everything that his father taught him. And now it's time for the application process. So Papa was basically be better, be stronger, be noble. So now it's time for everyone 
to be those things for yourself and not, not for others. Be better for yourself. Be stronger for yourself. Be proud of yourself and make yourself proud. I thought that that was the takeaway of um, Papa's speech during the funeral. And I thought it was, you know, a really strong message. And um, and once that that was over, you know, the, the, the episode came to an end. So rest in peace to the pastor. This was a great episode. What do we predict for the next episode? Y'all have to watch my shorts and we'll see. But thank y'all so much for watching. Please uh, like up the video. Hit subscribe. Comment down below. And look, y'all have a good day. On purpose. Bye.